What is going on, Ive Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're going to talk about why you get moody when intermittent fasting. Stay tuned. What is up, everybody? So let's get right into it. A uh, few people have been asking me, uh, or some people have been interjecting their experiences and saying, hey, I get really, really moody when intermittent fasting. And that has been enough to take people completely off of the regimen. And that has just been somewhat of an annoyance for some people. Some people feel that they don't want to have that, that inner feeling of being moody, of being angry, of spazzing out on friends and family. Why is it happening? And can you minimize that? And is that something that will just stay with you for a long time? Now understand that some people may be more prone to it than others. Also, it is mixed between biology, how you're wired, how you're brought up, um, your experiences, your conditioning, uh, your mental fortitude. A lot of that has to do certain, uh, even certain, you know, health issues, things like that. All of those things play a big part as to who will have higher levels of this feeling or emotion and who would have lower levels and who might not even feel those emotions at all. So the science of this is basically because of the fight or flight mode, when your blood glucose is low and this happens when you don't eat because your body's not taking in the glucose and putting it into your bloodstreams and moving it to different parts of your body. But your brain in particular uh, sees the lack of glucose or the lower levels of glucose as a threat to its safety. When this happens, your brain does a glucose regulatory counter response. This response goes out to different parts of your body and your brain so that it can counter the low levels of blood glucose. Your adrenaline rises and this adrenaline rise is what allows you to fall into that fight or flight mode. Now that's good for energy, but it's bad if you are sensitive to the element of anger because that inadvertently can release the anger emotion. Just think of moments that your adrenaline kicks in when you're not fasting, but puts you in fight or flight. For example, if you're walking down the street and it's a very, very dark path and you hear noises in the background and you feel alone, but those noises feel very threatening, like that there could be somebody there or something that can threaten your safety, how your body starts to react, what you feel. Those are the fight or flight kicking in without fasting. When that starts to kick in without fasting, think about your emotions. There's a certain level of fear, but there could be a certain level of anger. If you get angry in those moments too, then you will probably also be angry or feel the emotion of anger when you're fasting. There's something there and that's part of the adrenaline and that is released from the brain and that is the fight or flight and how emotional and sensitive you are to that in terms of anger will determine how sensitive and emotional you are towards anger when fasting. Another reason why anger could be linked to your fasting is because of a common gene, a common gene called the neuropeptide Y. This is a natural brain chemical released into the brain when you are fasting and you feel hungry. It basically stimulates ferocious feeding behaviors by activating certain stimuli in the brain, including one called the Y1 receptor. Now, I hope I haven't lost you guys. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, but I'm trying to give you the exact science to this. So the neuropeptide Y and the Y1 receptor do two things. It tries to control hunger, but it also controls aggression and anger. So you can see how the mixture can happen. And if your levels of sensitivity to anger and aggression are higher, then it may affect you. So understanding this, people with high levels of neuropeptide Y tend to show higher impulses of aggression. But the truth of the matter is your body does adjust at one point. Your body decides, hey, this is a likely scenario that's happening with this person. Let me adjust uh, 
chemically so that the person can be more relaxed with this common thing that happens. It is as if you walk down that alley every single day for four, for three months straight, your body would say, well, screw it. Like that noise is always there. I get it. Let me not shoot up all this adrenaline. It's the same thing with being hungry and being angry while you're hungry. See, the thing about it is, it is still a survival mechanism because back when during the caveman times where the hack was biologically created for intermittent fasting to work in the times that we are now, back then, you had to have that aggression to eat your meal, to compete against other people who are trying to eat bigger portions or more portions of a single animal that everyone is collectively eating at the same time. You had to have that anger, that impulse, that aggression to protect your pieces when someone else didn't have enough or if somebody wanted to get yours. Remember, you can just hit somebody in the head with a club back then and basically kill them and more than likely if no one found out you will be okay and it would probably be very easy to do that uh, communication wasn't very very strong during that time and aggression and food was very scarce so the endorphins and all the stuff that was exploding and lighting up in your brain was saying food good no food bad and anything that came between you and that can be perceived as a threat. And some people still carry that over, even if it's in its subtle form, but it is still enough to make you feel angry. But hopefully this helps, and if you're in that category where you get very angry, and I can tell you right off the bat, I am not in that category, never felt angry, I actually feel happy because I think what's going on with my brain is that I'm understanding the processes of what's happening. I'm not doubting it. So because I'm not doubting the process, I know that something good is at the other end of it. So to, for me, it's fine. I, I, I love when I'm in a fasted state, but I can see how it might not be for others. So uh, let me know in the comment section, are you someone who gets angry when you fast or are you someone who loves the feeling of fasting and loves the adrenaline rush that you get it doesn't affect you in a way where you get angry let me know i'm interested to hear you guys situation and that is all that i have for you guys today and if you have any other questions to any other videos that i've had in the past i will have one here and of course i will have my subscribe button down there go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and watch that video i will gladly appreciate it peace out <laughs>